All right. <laughs> Just finished what I think is the last little 2% of body work. I think we're there. Got her, got her uh, the last little bit of body filler on it. Little touch-ups, little nicks. It's been fully decked. I got another coat of primer on it. The next thing is sealer primer after this, but we got her done this week and it's 102 degrees right now. It's ridiculous, but we're still working. So I'll tell you what, if you're interested in seeing how we suffered in the heat, doing this last little 2% of body work, stay tuned for my misery. Here it comes. That, that right there. <laughs> you with me? It's been too hot. <laughs> it's just been too hot. We're getting started already on a Saturday. I wish I could work more. I got a little bit of a breeze outside in the garage. It's hot, I've had the air conditioner going, but it's gonna be miserable and it's just been difficult. I've had viewers commenting, subscribers. I mean, from across the country, just the heat has just been too much. It's been too hard to get content out there. I'm gonna be working in the garage today. I'm gonna to try to get something done, try to get something on video put down for you, but um, I don't have a whole lot because of this heat. And it's all because of that glowing orb. <laughs> Let's get in the garage and see what we can do. I mean, it's, it's, just been, it's just been miserable. It's been absolutely miserable. I got the door shut. Now, right now, it's a little cooler in here, but I haven't even been able to get in here and clean up. You know, I mean, my, my garage is, it's like a bomb went off in here. I've just not been able to keep up with any of this stuff. Nothing, 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 nothing. I've not been able to keep up with anything. And, uh, you know, I got the air conditioner on and it's got a little cooler in here, so it's a little tolerable. But um, anyway, hate to just whine, but that's why I'm not getting any videos out. It's because it's just impossible to work. So let's talk about this week. Christine, she's uh, this close to being able to paint. I'm feeling really good about it. Feeling really, really good about it. I got all my door gaps aligned. I've got my body panels lining up. I've got everything dialing in. Most of it, it's primed 99%. There's only a couple little small spots that I've been working with, I've been tooling with, just little teeny tiny bits. I need to touch up with the primer. Been working little, little detailed areas like this. Got the trunk looking good. Got the rear tail panel looking good. The rear gutter, that's looking great. The roof even, I spent some time sanding the roof. I didn't video it, but I spent some time sanding this down. I had some oil canning in the video and I got rid of that. That's what all those scars are. But I got oil canning in the roof I got rid of. There's a few little small spots where the filler has little, little, uh, little holidays that I'm trying to fill in with primer. I'm gonna get so that. this body's almost ready to paint. So what I need to do is I need to finish these last little bits of little touch-up body work. And then I'm, I'm gonna be ready to hit it with a sealer primer and I'll wet sand that. Then after I wet sand it, I'll be able to disassemble this body, take all the body parts off. I'm gonna take my time with that and then work with them a little bit individually on the bench. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what parts do I paint when it's disassembled? Do I paint the fender mounted or do I paint the fender on a stand next to the car as I'm painting? I don't know what. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but um, I'm gonna try to find something to video for you to see today, but let's start by cleaning this thing up. <laughs> wanted to channel your inner Carl Spangler remember him from uh, <laughs> Caddyshack Bill Murray <laughs> Cooler <or> Pond <laughs> the dust is ridiculous I put this mask back on I've been 
blowing out all kinds of different colors. All right, so I'm gonna let this dust settle down and then and then uh, get to working. All right, just to show you what I've been doing, I've got my lawn board with 180 on it and I got a little foam block with 180 on it as well. And what I've been doing over the past several weeks is I, I'm just constantly uh, going over the panel and I've been sanding them with the lawn board and making sure I knock down this primer, even though I don't have a guide coat on it, I can see the cross hatch if I look really well. So I'm seeing it, that all of this is really flat and I can tell, I'm not putting any pressure on it. So as I'm not putting any pressure on it, I can see how it's, how it's gliding. If I've got a force into it, that's telling me I've got some issues, but this, this uh, Roberlo uh, high bill primer works really well. But I don't see any, any um, glossy spots and dull spots, which would indicate you know highs and lows. And that's what I've been doing. I've been going around the entire car like this. So now I've got a pencil number two pencil and and I'm taking my hand and I'm going over every square inch and I'm going to circle little little flaws because they're so easy to miss you know you're trying to cover the entirety of the car but that's what I'm trying to do and then I'm using the foam block for areas like where I've got curvature here I'm using this foam block on a, on a radius and I'm I'm getting in here and just making sure I've already taken the block and then blocked where it was straight but I'm trying to make sure that the foam gets in the little crevices and if I see a little, if I see a holiday or something, or if I feel something, then that's something that I circle with the pencil and I'm gonna go back and do a little touch up with either primer or body sealer and then primer. So that's what I'm doing now. that uh, all the dust I've been picking up has, had clogged up my window unit that I got stuck through the wall and I blew it out last weekend and suddenly it's a heck of a lot more comfortable in here but it's, not, it's just bearable not not great so anyway I'm still standing and feeling with my hand and I mean this this is the best instrument for checking a lot of this stuff other than blocking but like right now I'm feeling a little flat spot right right here I can just feel it and you, know, it, you can't see anything. You can't really see it. But right here, I can just feel it like just goes doop, a little flat, doop, and then it breaks. So I'm going to put a little bit more filler in here. But this is what I'm doing is I'm going around the car with my hand, with a pencil, just catching these little things that look great in primer. <laughs> but they're, uh, they're not going to look good with gloss. So... I'm still decking and blocking and decking and blocking and marking and when the phone when the camera died I you know mark little spots like this that's a little bitty teeny tiny little flaw sanded all of that this is all sanded you can see how it's coming through multiple layers of primer and polyester um, a little while back I fixed this this uh, that, that where the the key latch goes the key cylinder that had a little bit of uh, gobbering up on the on the edges, and I tuned that, you know. So I got all of this together. I'm gonna do this, make this last little pass, and what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and continue tuning those spots, but let's keep going.
dusty and sweaty. Phone overheated, died somewhere when I was sanding the roof in hyperlapse. Um, but I was, I climbed back on the package tray and sanded over it. So I think what I need to do is I need one good heavy coat of primer on the roof, let that cure and deck that and then it'll be done for the roof. I've got about six, eight, nine, maybe little small spots around the perimeter. About half of those maybe take filler. The other half is just more primer. So I'm gonna mix up some filler. First, I'm gonna dust off, cool off, and go inside and get some to drink. And then I'm gonna mix up some filler and go ahead and, and do that. But we're making progress. Back at it. <laughs> it got about five to 10 degrees hotter in this garage, at least, since I went inside and cleaned up an eight. But all right, what I've got is I've got a little bit of body filler. I put it on the palette, but I haven't yet mixed it. I'm gonna show you the, the little handful of spots that I'm gonna repair or touch up. Got a little spot down here at the bottom of the driver's side door. I've got a little bitty nick here on the side of the driver's side quarter panel, one here. I did that, I actually did that when I was doing this in the last hyperlapse. I accidentally touched it, so I need to fix that. Fix this a little bit. And then uh, I thought this was a flaw, but that's actually one of the little pinholes for the, the trim where it says Bel Air back here. And I think that's it on this side. Just the bottom of the door, just the quarter panel by the hip, quarter panel back here. I have a spot at the trunk when you close the trunk. This has got like a little a little divot right here. I'm going to repair that. I'm going to put a little filler in there, smooth that out. I'm satisfied with all this. Uh, the little surf's up spot I told you about there. I don't think there was anything on the back of the trunk. No. All looks good. All looks good. All looks good. A uh, little divot here. Repair that. Something going on here. I think this is nothing more than primer, so I'm not going to put any. I don't think I'm going to put any filler over here. That might be a little bit deep right here, but that's definitely just a little bit of primer. So I'll probably a little bit of body filler, prime that. A little bit of body filler in here. What else? I don't think I have any more pencil marks on this side. Something big in the door. It just wasn't sanding as well as I thought, so I just figured, you know what? Let me flood this with primer, and I'll sand that again. And uh, you might have seen in the vit in the hyperlapse, I dinged this down a little bit. This little high spot's been aggravating me, so I'll put a little bit of filler here. I never did finish filling this out, so I'm gonna probably come back and put a little bit more filler in here and shape this. That's all behind stainless. Something is going on here. I think this is probably might flood out with primer right there. Should and that's it. I think I don't think I had anything on the hood, so. I'm going to go ahead and mix up that filler, go ahead and make a pass around the car, and uh, let's get her done.
My phone keeps dying. Heat. It died when I was working on the roof. I got it done. I haven't even wiped myself off yet. I mean, it's just dripping in my eyes. You know, dust is expected, but I've got an air conditioner on. I got an attic ventilator on, and it's just miserable. But this is what we're dealing with. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> And then after I do that, then I'm gonna come back, uh, dust it off, blow it down, wipe it, and then go back and heavily flood that roof with primer, and then touch up the primer on all the other spots. I think that's gonna do it. Then when that cures, I'll come back, maybe tomorrow, um, but the next time, I'm gonna sand that a little bit, and then hit it with a sealer primer that I haven't bought yet, <laughs> and then wet sand it. So that's probably the next episode. Anyway, let me take a break. All right, here we go. I got it all wiped down. I got all the dust down. Wiped it with lacquer thinner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mix up some primer. I'm going to shoot it, and that's going to wrap this up. So here we go. Looks good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, fumes are strong in here, so I'm gonna need to keep this on. But anyway, there you go. It's done. We're back to wrap this up. All right, that's gonna do it. I got my gun cleaned up. I got it mostly put away. <laughs> Still fumey in here. But that's gonna do it for this week. Next next time. Hopefully we'll be doing some sealer primer, wet sanding, and then disassembling. And then we're going to start throwing down some body color. Can't wait. <laughs> For those of you guys that have been sticking around with me, if you're liking the videos, please give them a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the channel, how about a subscription? <laughs> Why not? They're free this week. Take two. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it. I'm going to go inside and see if I can't defumigate. So uh, until next time, take care of yourself. Cheers. <laughs>